Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tata Fox and this is the Tata Fox Express Trade. <laughs> As you can tell, I am in South Africa and I just arrived. I'm moving back and I'm not filming in my space. I'm filming where the lighting is better. I have, I do have a ring light, but I feel like for me aesthetically, ring lights are a little bit too harsh. So I've got one umbrella light and I don't like it. So I need to order a softbox. So now I'm filming with natural light. It is raining today. So natural light is not so bright. It's a bit um, gray. But I think it is bright enough for me to film. So we are going to be filming because I need to get this video out of the way. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing cosmetics from a company that didn't invite me to the launch. But I'm taking a jab. It's a jab. It's made of fun. It's all right, guys. Um, what I have done, though, is I've gone and I've bought the products myself. I didn't get them for free. I bought with my own quaint. And I spent... That's a Krispy Kreme slip. I went with Bayanda, so he got a donut. That's a checkers slip, so that doesn't count either. So, Mr. Price, I went to Mall of Africa. Um, I'll put some footage of me actually going into the mall and um, where I found the cosmetics. So, I am going to be reviewing Scarlet Hill. And they've, Mr. Price has just launched a new makeup line. Um, and I wanted to review it for you guys so you guys can see how good or how bad it is. Um, remember I bought the products myself I've got no affiliation with the brands I, they, they don't know me, I don't know them <laughs> I do know them They don't know me So I can be as 100% transparent as I want to be Okay So let's, let's get into it So let me insert the clip of me in the mall Guys, I'm in Scarlet I'm in Mr. Price I'm coming to look for their um, oh, Scarlet Hill makeup. I saw there was an event and I thought I'm gonna try and review their products. eyebrow pencil they didn't have concealer but I'll show you what I did get I got their beauty blenders so this is a beauty blender from them it is 39 rand and I liked the beige color I have to put them in water so I can see if they are really good beauty blenders they feel quite hard dry but that's that's okay once you add water this should be fine I do like the color. 39 Rand for three beauty blenders is not bad. And then they've got this weird looking shaped one. I'm assuming this is for smaller spaces and this is for bigger spaces. This feels really good, this one. This one feels a bit tough. I did get a hair back makeup on a headband for make applying makeup. So this is the headband. And it was... 39 rand so we're gonna put this over my hairline oh god I didn't want to fuck up my hair hmm. gel gel okay yo this is tighter than a motherfucker this is gonna be great for applying wigs it's cute so 
I bought that for 39 Rand, which is not bad. It's not bad. So you guys will know that I always start off with my eye with my eyeshadow. So I'm going to use the eyeshadows that I bought two packs of eyeshadow. Right? I bought the tropical heat eyeshadow. This is the tropical heat heat eyeshadow. This is what it looks like on the inside. Okay. Then I got the eyeshadow palette, the nude range. This is what it looks like on the inside. So I didn't buy their makeup brushes. And the reason why I didn't buy their makeup brushes is that I've got quite a few makeup brushes. And also I'm very particular on their makeup brushes. I'll insert a clip of their makeup brushes for you guys to see. I didn't like the look of the makeup brushes. Um, they didn't look like quality makeup brushes to be 100% honest. They didn't look, I don't know if they are, they didn't look like quality hair brush, um, uh, uh eyeshadow brushes they looked a little square and they didn't look like fully packed and fluffy and that's what I really like in a makeup in a eyeshadow um, brush but however if you're starting out and you're just using makeup you should get proper eyeshadow brushes they are good enough to work with I particularly just didn't want to buy them because they didn't look like my standard standard so I didn't get them so I'm gonna use my own eyeshadow brushes so you know me i would have just gone and used the nude but i'm not just going to use a nude today i'm just i'm going to try and mix it up i'm going somewhere so i hope this works out because i don't have time to wash it off so what i want in a good eyeshadow is i want an eyeshadow that's going to be creamy not not like cream but it's it's not going to be too powdery it's going to have high pigmentation and it's not going to have a lot of fallout um so let's see what we're going to get here I'm going to start off by using the color stop traffic which is this one over here and I'm going to use it as my base color so there is it is quite pigmented but the only thing that I can say that it is quite powdery um, it's not like smooth but that's all right um, that's not a big thing as long as there's, there's as long as it is pigmented that is quite important so it is layerable because I'm, I am noticing that the more layers I am applying on the eyelid, it is getting darker orange, which is fab. So I'm just blending out the eyeshadow and I won't lie, this color is popping. Like I did not expect it and I am... Okay. Okay, Scarlet Hill. Okay, I really, you know, I thought I was going to have a problem. But damn, was she, she's alright, girl. I, I will use you again. I, I dig this orange. I like it. I'm then going to go in with the color Mocha and Spiced Cinnamon. So this is Mocha and that's Spiced Cinnamon. I'm going to start with Spiced Cinnamon because I don't want to start with the darkest one first. So I'm going to go on to the corners here with Spice Cinnamon. Hello? Are you going to show up? Spice Cinnamon doesn't want to show up. Barely. Okay. So. Spice Cinnamon is not showing up for the party. She doesn't want to lay nicely. Play with other kids on top of the... On top of the orange. So... I'm then gonna then just take the mocha, which is the darker shade. And I'm gonna see if she will come. Oh, she's she's here. She's ready. There is fallout over there. You can see it. Listen, okay, she's coming together. I am highly, high key impressed. Like what? I'm gonna hate my eyebrows when I when I edit this video. I can tell it. Nobody needs to tell me. I know it. I can see it. I'm gonna hate them. But the eyeshadow is popping. So I've gone in with Spice Cinnamon. Didn't want to show up on the traffic on stop traffic, but Mocha definitely did, and I understand why because Mocha is definitely a dark color. So it was definitely going to go be able to be built on top of the stop traffic i think i'm gonna take solar flare color over here it's like a sh it's a shimmer and i'm gonna go into the ball of the eye i, 
actually bought their mascara. It was 50 Rand. Wait a minute. What color is this? Oh shit. I bought purple mascara. Why? Why would you even do that? I didn't even realize that I bought purple mascara. Girl, I bought purple mascara. Oh god. It doesn't show up as purple though. So these are the lashes from oof, these are lashes from Mr. Price. They are 70 they are quite expensive. 70 Rand. It's a pack of three. They are quite expensive. And let me tell you why I think they're quite expensive. I think they're quite expensive because I don't like what they look like. <laughs> um, they also come with a tiny little eyelash glue which they stick at the back, which is burst now that I've pushed it. You see it's burst. You need to be careful when taking off the I mean when you take off the glue. These look a bit basic. Um, I would have liked if they had layered eyelashes. If they had lashes that looked like faux fur, that were faux fur lashes, not like straight lashes. So my trick back that I've showed in a couple of videos months ago, uh, my trick to getting fluffy looking lashes is to take lashes like this and to brush them like this, going back and forth. And it usually makes them stand up a little bit and look a bit more fluffier and not so uniform. Um, I always struggle with lashes that look uniform. I want lashes, some are a bit scattered, you know, they look full and bushy. So the glue that they gave, that I bought, that came with this, um, is sealed on the other side. I don't know if you guys can see. This is sealed, like it's, I think you need to cut it. Anybody got time for that? There's a hole that, that came when I was um, trying to squeeze it out. So I'm going to use the hole at the back because I'm not cutting it. The reason why I am not a fan of black eyelash glue is that sometimes you'll make a mistake and not put the lashes on directly. Um, and you'll have to pull it down. But then when you've got black eyelash glue, it kind of makes a mark and you can see the glue on the eyelid. Whereas if it's clear eyelash glue, if you make a mistake anyway, the lash the lash glue dries clear and you can still see your eyeshadow under the lash glue. So you have to make sure that you do not make a mistake when you're putting on lash glue that's, that dries black and it is black. The lashes are okay. The lashes are okay. You know why I'm saying the lashes are okay? The lashes are okay because they don't really stand out. They're not like, wow, I got some lashes on bitches. No, it's more like... Um, they're very subtle so I'm gonna take the mascara again and I'm gonna go into the lashes just to make them stand out a bit more because I like my lashes to be seen honey they look much better with a bit of the mascara on and they had a primer right let's get into it they had a primer that I did not buy uh, because I didn't see foundation I didn't see foundation It's Mr. Price girl is trying to say something to me. Let me look and see if there's a foundation. I'm going on to their website. I couldn't find a, a foundation. I found BB creams. And a BB cream for me isn't really a foundation. And they only had a few options of the BB cream. So I don't know if this is my color. I, I don't think they could, I could find my color. I couldn't find my color. Number one. Number two, they didn't really have a like... A uh, testers they had like one tester on one foundation there's 69 Rand it's got SPF 15 so BB cream is not foundation it's BB cream that is gonna be dark um, that might work but I think it might be too light so I think what I'm gonna do is woo, I'm gonna mix them I think it's about as good as it's gonna get Okay, so I'm going to take a beauty blender. I've added water on it now. And I'm going to first put this on my face. But like I said, BB cream is not foundation. 
so i'm not expecting any coverage at all bb cream is bb cream so i decided to use a makeup brush and i'm gonna try and layer the bb cream so i'm going to add some of the lighter one as a contour i mean there wasn't a there wasn't a i didn't see concealer um the contour palette was done with more of africa so i'm just going to take the lighter bb cream and i'm going to put it under my eyes I don't know what's making my eyes water. It's this. Yeah, my eyes are watering. So, I'm very oily or greasy. Um, BB cream is made to not be a foundation. It's made to be like a cream that's got a tint of foundation in it so i know and i knew that i was going to get zero coverage from it however i can still see it on my face i'm definitely darker in the face that i'm in the neck and i know the reason why i'm like that is because i um am not i couldn't find my foundation color i'm gonna go in with my maybelline fit me and just try and add a bit of color under the eye to lighten up my face I bought two blush palettes right because I thought one was a um, contour palette but it's actually a blush palette which is annoying the hell out of me how are you gonna launch and not have all the products in store I'm gonna take the blush palette but I'm gonna take the dark one this one over here and I'm gonna see if I can use it as a contour oh, it looks like I can okay so i definitely definitely feel like i've darkened myself um i'm going to take and i'm oily i'm gonna take my setting powder from bakery from beauty bakery and i'm going to set my face around the nose the beauty blend this beauty blender is not that great it's um i can feel the water in it i feel like the bb cream is also oxidizing on my skin so it's making the foundation look a bit red i bought two lipsticks i bought two i got both the color amina and the color next to nada so what i'm gonna do and they're both mattes and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put amina first i didn't buy a pencil because um they didn't have the right color pencil they were also sold out or finished that's a nice color you have to go over your lips a couple of times to get the color to come out so this is next to nada and it's a bit of a i don't know who nada it's meant to be next to because it ain't a black person's nada it's more like a white person's nada but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna layer it on the top here but they do take a while to come off to get some payoff Okay, at least the positive is they'll last longer. <laughs> I'm going to put setting spray. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that spray is strong. The spray is strong. I look soaked. Um got a very strong smell and almost a little bit alcoholy then I'm gonna go in with the body bronzer I'm gonna put it on my cheeks okay guys so this is the end look from Scarlet Hill is that your name from Scarlet Hill mr. price makeup situation I would recommend foundation of BB cream but that's because I'm a makeup artist if you don't want heavy makeup then you should definitely go for the BB cream if you want full coverage and you've got problems with your skin definitely go for foundation I wish mr. price had come out with a both and had come up with a larger range of skin tones in their range 
Um, however, I'm really impressed. I'm really happy Mr. Price decided to come up with the range because we've been we've been needing companies and brands to come up with makeup that's affordable for students and that's affordable 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 for people who want to buy makeup and are too scared because they're not makeup professionals and not the makeup girls. Okay, so I'm really really happy about that. Um, there's some things that are not great, but there's some things that are great, just like a lot of brands. A lot of brands, like, I don't like some things in Urban Decay. I love some things in Urban Decay. So don't make, I hope I didn't come across like I'm just killing them. Okay, guys, so this is me. I did my makeup at 9, 2 o'clock, so it's 5 hours later. I want to show you the time. That's the time. 14, 14. So it's five hours later. It's cold weather. I want to show you the weather. It's raining. So I shouldn't really have a greasy skin, but it is greasy. I did. I, I did use my own baking powder. That's fine, and I think it is working under the eyes. I, I'm still matte under the eyes, but I'm starting to become oily here and here. The foundation isn't wearing as well as I thought it would be. That's because it's not foundation. It's BB cream. The other thing I'm not really keen on is my lash glue. My lash glue, my lashes are still on, and I definitely think the eyelashes for like a simple look if you don't want to be too glam. So beginner friendly lashes. However, the lash glue ain't something you're at home about. Like literally, it is lifting. And I won't lie, when I use my Geo lash glue, eh, they don't move. So I don't. 10, what would I rate this makeup range? I would rate this makeup range maybe a six. I'm give it a six because the eyeshadow was bomb. Um, the lipsticks were good, but not matte. Uh, setting spray is all right. If you guys do buy Scarlet Hill, which I, sh I would recommend that you do if you're looking for a good eyeshadow and you're looking for a uh, BB cream. And if you're looking for some lipsticks, I would definitely recommend you buying the stuff. Like I said, tag me, tag Scarlet Hill, and um, let's see what looks you guys came up with. My name is Tata Fox, and you guys are the bomb, Don. Come.